how you all it's coming here and welcome back to my youtube channel but if it's your first time seeing my face you're welcome and please do well to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you're a returning subscriber like i do see thank you all so much you guys are the actual best <laughs> place where they told you what to chase in today's video we're gonna do a little a little story time from the title of the video you get what the story is about so you all don't mind the way i look today like i'm not really feeling myself today and that's because i don't feel so well i really don't know what the problem is my energy has been low since yesterday yesterday i had a very bad headache and I feel a lot better today, but I'm just going to tell you guys why I look like this. <laughs> I'm not really feeling myself today, but that won't stop me. Like, that cannot stop me from talking to you guys. Yeah, let's just get right into today's video. Um, So, in this story, I'm not going to call the actual names of the people involved. I'm going to call one person B A and the person B. So, let's just say A is the main person in this story. Yes. And when it comes to using myself, I'll call my name or I'll say me, I, comfort, yeah. So this, this thing happened back in, you know, secondary school. How old was I then? I was, I was 16, 16, 17. No, I was 16, 15, 16 actually. Or the year was o'clock 16. So 2016, I believe. I had one particular friend in school and this particular friend a the friend is a she was always getting into a lot of trouble and you know fighting she had some sort of anger issues and all of that and she was always fighting and all that so when she's fighting they're like come for your friend is fighting your friend is fighting and so somebody told me somebody told me one time that uh, every time your friend is fighting you're not there is after the fight that we'll see you. I mean, what do you want me to do? To go there and fight with her or fight for her? I don't understand me like this. I'll just kick me. Imagine fighting with knives. Imagine fighting with, you know, stones. Ah, uh, no. And you know how, you, you should, if you attended a government secondary school, you should know how it is, like, where people are fighting. This one from this school, this one from the other school. Sometimes from the same school, fight. And it gets really intense and, you know, they don't care yeah like a lot of touts there <laughs> sorry to say i'm not trying to say it was a tout but i mean you know, she fought <laughs> yeah for those of you that actually knew me in secondary school you know what i'm talking about please don't put that in the comment section if you actually watch this video i'm not trading anybody i'm not trying to bring anybody out or put anybody in a bad light that you all should know i'm just trying to share a childhood experience or an experience so she had another friend I wasn't so close to I wasn't close to that friend at this time like I was already deviating from the group because you know it wasn't the first time like I was getting into trouble but not as intense as this one A had another friend B at the time they became closer said talking they would go out together go home together on on and on this fateful day she came to school and was giving me some certain attitude and wasn't talking to me and then as at that time i already changed my seats and i was sitting down with my best friend shout out to you vicky so this was in i think ss2 first time if i'm not mistaken he and b were not talking to me i was like okay like it didn't really bother me that much and then i tried to know what happened but she was like didn't really tell me but then that was it. I went home, she went home. Like, we're not on talking terms. Okay, fine. Like, it's not new to me. <laughs> she came to my place in the night and it was knocking. And then, who? I think one of my brothers or my mom or dad answered, I had my uncle answered, I don't know. And then they called me. I was like, Yeah, what's up? And she was like, uh, She got into a fight with her mom and she ran out of the house. I'm like, Who? What happened? Because in my mind, I'm like, of all people to run to, it's me. Why you did not talk to me during the, you know, the day? So you came to my place. Fine. But I didn't, I didn't bring that out. I didn't bring that up at all because she wasn't feeling like, she was like, kind of in a rush or so. So, 
after school that day she got into a fight with her boyfriend's sister <laughs> her boyfriend's sister attends our school the same class as b i don't know i've forgotten over what for and all that and then the boyfriend heard about it but the boyfriend is grown and all that so he heard it and you know came to the house to her house to shout like to complain why would you hit my sister over what why would you do that some head i mean you know i don't really know what happened there but then it got intense uh boyfriend talk you know how nigerian friends have a boyfriend talk exactly yeah, i've been in that situation myself but it's a story for another day like aha. so she exchanged words with her mom and the mom you know how parents are you will leave my house kini 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 and then you know childish behavior she left the house and then she was like she didn't want to go home and then me i had my own bad side room uh somebody gave me a small nokia touch light <laughs> then because my parents did not allow me have phone at that age because you know i'm a girl now and you know eyes everywhere and i like men <laughs> sorry boys <laughs> even at that age and then i gave her the small phone my friend did not know about the phone i gave her the small phone i gave her my jacket maybe my sweater something to go and stay somewhere but make sure she calls her cousin because i knew the cousin make sure she calls her cousin she said okay before she left see if she listened to this part before she left she said if anybody asks about me, tell them you haven't seen me since yesterday. The last time you saw me was in school. I'm like, why? She said, please just do it. I don't want anybody to find me. Please just do it. I said, sure, but make sure you call your cousin. Okay, yes. And that was how we left. That was how she left things. The following day in school, I thought she was going to be in school. She wasn't in school. B wasn't in school. I'm like, okay. Now I was having a normal day in school with other friends. We were sitting down. Then a teacher came to the class. Comfort. Who is comfort? I am okay. Vice principal wants to see. Is it a teacher or a student? I don't know. Vice principal wants to see. Dun dun. <laughs> I went there and her dad was there. I was like, oh, I know you. Uh, yeah, my daughter's friend. Yes. Uh, where is my daughter? <laughs> I feel I don't know. <laughs> Are you aware that she was involved in a fight and she ran out of the house? I said I don't know. I'm just hearing. Mm -hmm. The man looked at me. You know where my daughter is. Hey. <laughs> I did not know that he already went to my house to ask about a and then they, they told them at home that she was she was at my place in the night <laughs> then me in school said i don't know i haven't seen a i only saw her in school <laughs> he said we went to your house and they said she was there yesterday and she even called um the cousin my brain said doing ching chong ching chong ching chong i was like yes she did the boy said you did not see her i said she asked me to say that because at that point i did not know she asked me to say that i did not see her like she did not come to my place uh, but she was at my place and i gave her phone and jacket i told her to call her cousin to tell her the where her whereabouts and that was it like i don't know where she is at this point since i lied the first time he did not believe me he said that i know where she is and i must provide her <laughs> then he involved the police hey when i heard police let's go to the station i was shaking hey me me my father would kill me that was just what, that was what was on my mind my father would kill me as principal I kept on saying if you don't want this matter to go to the police open up tell us where she is tell us i honestly did not know where she went to they're just saying tell us tell us tell us I was like okay i don't know where she i honestly don't know where she's but we can try i can try because b is not in school she's probably with b that we can just check b's house they said where does she do you know where she did i said yes then we went to b's house from school a was with b i'm like ha thank god <laughs> so they found a and you know she slept outside so she had like mosquito bites all over her body and then the, the father was quite worried and then he was like Mm, let's go to the police 
I was still hearing police station. I was shaking, and then they, like they said, they've called my mom to meet us at the police station. Ah! I was freaking out. If you know African parents, you know how it is. Like when you hear your child and police station at a young age, it was like at that age, I was the one that gave my parents so much trouble. <laughs> when they say black sheep of the family, I was the black sheep at that age. I caused like all of my siblings did not go through or give them as much trouble growing up like I did. Yeah, went to the station. Me, I was scared that I was going to be arrested, but they said no, it's fine. And that is where the clickbait is. I wasn't arrested. I only wrote a statement at the station. Yeah, so they're like, you need to write a statement. Tell us exactly what happened. My mommy came. Is he comfortable? Why now? Why now? She showed me. And I told Asha told her everything and then yeah I wrote it I wrote what I was to write and at that point school was over like I was with them for the longest school was over so I just went home with my mom that is the story guys but then the evening of that day when I go home I was hiding from my from my dad you know this thing that they will say is it cut your hair or I don't know how they put it and then put under the pillow and that until when they match it somebody will not be mad at you like one of something like that i did it i did it <laughs> so that my dad would not i was freaking out but no one knew i was freaking out i was so scared to like hear what my dad would say and then when he go back from work i was just shaking i didn't know what to go and do with him i was just in the room he did not say anything till evening comfort hey when you hear that name and we hear your name and you know you've done something wrong hey <laughs> it said comfort yes daddy came out i think that was the period where to like have our evening devotion for sleeping my dad told me from that day he never wants to see the girl or anything that has to do with the girl in his house I should cut off every friendship, cut it off completely. He doesn't want to see it. Why am I bringing shit to him? Why? Why? And I felt it though. I felt it because, like, why should one person be making me get into trouble? Because I got into trouble a lot. That's actually when I cut the friendship off completely. Because I told her, my dad don't want us together anymore. I like, legit told her, like, we can't be friends, we can't be close anymore. My dad said, doesn't want to see her in the house. Can you? Yeah, and that was it. And that's what the story is about. How I wrote a statement at the station. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please, you all subscribe. Like, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on on this channel. I really don't know. Like, you all, please subscribe. Please share this video. You know, it's the, the funny thing that the people you expect to actually help you, to actually, people you call friends and that you expect to actually help you share your videos and all that, they don't. In fact, they are the worst. But then you all that don't know me, but then still watch my videos, I beg of you all, please share, please share and subscribe. Thank you. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications to be notified when next I post a video. And I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you.